It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Saints and the Birds, and it comes your way next. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles fly, as they get ready to match up with the New Orleans Saints. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Eagles. Their offense is a unit that's not afraid to take chances out there, but not always for the better. What do you see them trying to do here? I think they'll continue to take those chances, Brandon. But to me, they have to do it in a measured way. And what I mean by that, they can't just come into a game and throw caution to the wind and just say, we're going to run a bunch of gadget plays, a lot of reverses, end arounds, all of those things. They've got to identify the spots where they want those plays to pay off, which means you have to set them up, and then when they present themselves, take full advantage. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to need leather, and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Well, for the first time, we get our look here at the Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts, the second-year quarterback out of Oklahoma. A lot of expectations for Jalen Hurts this year, but he has the support of the franchise, including the man who owns the franchise. Had a four-game audition at the tail end of last year and did enough that the Eagles sent Carson Wentz to Indianapolis. They're expecting Jalen Hurts to be their quarterback of the present and the future. Boston Scott, his first carry. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an eagle first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run for the first time with Kenneth Gainwell. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Well, this is Smith with the grab. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, the ball should be there, and then they can get to do some work afterwards. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 36. They'll run with Scott, nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So here are the Saints with a long field ahead. It'll be the 
6'3 QB Trevor Simeon calling the shots, the former Northwestern Wildcat. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team who wins. No gain on the play there. Second down. Simeon. He gets it complete to Harris. And a gain of about four here moves this from the six up to the ten. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Throwing on third down, Simeon. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And this returnable for Rager. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second and four. Oh, on the handoff, Gainwell. And he'll get it down to the plate of the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Gainwell. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Someone's looking fresh, and his own line is definitely looking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man is Kroon, the tight end. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. 23 yards, the final tally. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Here we go now on first and goal. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried no movements hurry. there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. 
The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. On the carry, this is Scott. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Forced out to his left. And he'll take it in the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-0. A drive that time of six plays. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They'll kind of get a look at them, get a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with second down and less than a yard. Now it's Simeon. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get the Jannard Avery leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. And this time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though. And they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. Now Simeon. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and 10. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads. They don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Smith catches left side. And he'll be down deep in the New Orleans territory. Well, fair to 
say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. They'll run on first down. Scott. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Hurts. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. For the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Hurts sets up to throw it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Saints are going to take over at their own two-yard line. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. After the interception, here's Simeon. And his throw is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On second down, Kamara. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And they're able to corral him right around the eight, and that's short of the first down. It's a pickup of six, but it's not going to be enough. And the punt team's going to be summoned on fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 53 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly for six. 
sometimes when I see these types of plays executed, I think of basketball. Guys boxing other guys off to go out and get a rebound. And he got the rebound right there. But the defense was really placed well. Yeah, they were right there. I mean, that's where it's really tough for a defender. When you're in the right spot, you're draped on the guy catching the ball, yet he still comes down with it. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make the score of 14 to 7. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? Now a first down throw, Simeon. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. To throw again on second down, Simeon. And he fires one that's intercepted. Dallas Slade with a pick. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective. And we got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether they expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you could see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He'll get this out wide to Scott. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. That'll be caught. It's Rager. Touchdown, Eagles. German Rager, 37 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half. And now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league. But this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try and mount a comeback. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 21 to 0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. 
That was not a real confident throw right there, and he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. And they were bottling him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Here comes Rager. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Saints. And not much went right in those first two quarters. You can see the numbers on the ground there. Not a whole lot to write home about so far. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they too didn't do a whole lot in terms of rushing efficiency in that first half, as you can tell by the numbers there. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big. You're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. On first down, Simmons. Sure, too much this time. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive. You're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Another try after the first down sack. Simeon. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. And the safety there, another mistake. And these mistakes just keep piling up. How many more can they make? They put themselves in such a massive hole now. It's going to be difficult to dig out from under. Yeah, for sure they can't afford anymore at this point. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. That's taken on the 25. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out, and he's been effective in their winning, so it makes it a little easier to put a montage together. It really does, doesn't it? Because we can see him throwing it really well, but how about everything else that's going on? Protection has been excellent, and of course the guys catching the ball have provided some highlight reels themselves. Yeah, I mean, it's not always just one man. He's been good, but you got the guys catching the ball too. Yeah, you name it. It's all coming together for them. What they call that synergy? Everything working together really well, and right now He's the focal point of it. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for him. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they get the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Throwing his hurts. Open right side complete to Rager. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up the first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On first down, Scott. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now a give right side. It's Scott, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. And the final number, pretty impressive courtesy of Next Gen Stats, 21.4 miles per hour. Throwing on second and 14. Hurts. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Saints are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shot in midfield. And still down quite a bit here, several scores. But yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. But they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. A give, this is Kamara. And he's got room. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. From the red zone now, Simeon. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll contain him to just four, second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. 
backs to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. He's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, in. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. It's Simeon. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Hit up by Alex Singleton. And the Eagles are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. A disappointing end to that drive, making it to the red zone, but then again, CD wind up with nothing. And nothing, that's been the key word because they've had drives throughout that have finished off with nothing. Can't finish off a drive to save their lives in this game. And this one winds up again, giving them, dare I say it, nothing. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Here's second and nine. They go again with Scott. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Back to throw now in his own end zone. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And he will bring it back to the four-yard line. From their own two, Charles, they opted to throw it instead of run it. We saw the outcome. And I think what a lot of teams count on is defenses to stack the line of scrimmage, trying to force a safety or force a turnover there. But if you've got a good defensive front, you just allow them to play the run, and everyone else stays ready. And they were, and they picked that one off. The New Orleans offense set to take over, and they look to cash in. Excellent field position, four-yard line first and goal. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara taking it in from four yards out. And the Saints are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well, the big play prior to this one got him down there, and they're able to stick it in on the very next snap. And I think those last two plays, that's what you're talking about, balance, right? Big pass play, puts him in position, turn right around and hand it off, and you've got a running play that finishes it off in the end zone. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. They'll try and throw for it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he had hands, he'd be playing on offense. Right? Ah, that's true. You've said that before. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. 
Well, Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, the cheater right there on the brink, aren't they? And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Scott. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's Scott. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 43 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that one will be accepted. Second down now. It's Scott. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Eagles on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and 15. He'll look to throw. Quick slant here to Smith. 
And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? The kick by Elliott is good. And that will push this lead up to 20 now. So they haven't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Field comes New Orleans. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On first and ten, Simeon. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Simeon incomplete on first. Here's second and ten now. Simeon now to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Desperation time for Simeon on fourth. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Darius Slay with a pick. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. He has a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he can do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Scott with it again on second. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. 
And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this lane, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. On the return, Deontay Harris. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much... Now Simeon stripped. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And great field position coming up. And the Reds at the 17-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. 62 yards on the ground for him so far. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. And they'll indeed take a knee. When you force four turnovers, you get to enjoy the spoils of victory, don't you? It's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game. That's almost unheard of. They carried this one home. He talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward, all you think about is, let's get five next time. They're going to be on the hunt. 